New life for an old molecule, the curious case of thiocarbonyl dithiocyanate. In the field of chemistry, even the smallest changes to a molecule can lead to a scientific breakthrough, like creating a completely new medicine or advanced material. As such, chemists are often fascinated by obscure molecules, especially those that don't follow normal rules. One curious case is a molecule called thiocarbonyl dithiocyanate, which was reported over 40 years ago but has been rarely studied since. A recent investigation led by Dr. Frank Tambanino at Phillips University of Marburg has now shone a spotlight on this elusive molecule. Tambanino and his colleagues set out to investigate what happens when thiocarbonyl dithiocyanate is synthesized in the lab. Interestingly, they discovered that the atoms within the molecule they synthesized are not in a stable arrangement. In its stable form, the molecule's arms, which consist of a nitrogen atom, carbon atom and sulfur atom, are connected to the molecule's central carbon atom via each arm's nitrogen atom. However, in the team's molecule, these arms are back to front, connected through their sulfur atoms. The team used computer models to figure out why this was the case. They discovered that it's all about the path that the reaction takes. During its synthesis, thiocarbonyl dithiocyanate forms quickly through a low energy shortcut, locking in this less stable form before it has a chance to rearrange into a more stable state. Additionally, the team's thiocarbonyl dithiocyanate molecule consistently adopts a highly unusual shape in its solid form. Most molecules of this type settle into a so-called syn-syn arrangement, where both of the molecule's arms point outwards. But this one was an exception, forming a syn anti-shape, with one arm pointed inward and one flipped outward. Tambanino and his colleagues were surprised by this finding because this syn anti form usually isn't a stable shape for the molecule. In fact, other arrangements should be lower in energy and therefore much more likely to form. However, here a combination of so called steric repulsion and electronic effects make this syn anti shape lowest in energy. The researchers then conducted further experiments, modifying the synthesis conditions in an attempt to create a more stable version of the molecule. This led to the discovery of a related molecule called chlorothiocarbonyl thiocyanate. Tambanino's team also experimented with safer and more efficient ways of producing these molecules by replacing toxic solvents with safer alternatives. They then decided to test how thiocarbonyl dithiocyanate reacts with other substances. When they added alcohol, they synthesized a molecule called thioimido dicarbonic diethyl ester that had never been made before. This molecule, in turn, turned out to be useful for capturing metal atoms. For instance, it was able to lock around a nickel atom to form a neat square. The team's study opens the door to creating new types of ligands molecules that can grip metal atoms in precise ways, which could be useful for environmental remediation and in designing catalysts or sensors. Tambanino and his collaborators showed that by revisiting forgotten corners of chemistry, we can discover new tools for future innovations. Thank you.